guys, it's Cassie. Welcome to my channel. If you're new and you've never seen this face before, welcome back. If you know exactly who I am and what this is and you're already a part of the 202 crew and you know how we get down. So, I am talking about the five worst designer items I own. Each of them have different reasons as to why they're not that great. <laughs> and I'm gonna go through them. Um, firstly, if you're not already, I'm gonna need you to subscribe. So just go ahead and click the red button, turn on the notification bell. It's easy, it takes you but a moment. I'm just gonna walk you through, I'm gonna tell you my reasons as to why not. I'm gonna start off with shoes, we're gonna go to the accessory, then we're gonna end off with the bags. These are, the Versace, I don't know, slip-on trainers. I don't think they have a name. These are with Python. However, these hurt like a <coughs> These are so painful here. And I've tried everything. I've put those gel inserts. I've put a suede version of those gel inserts. And guess what? The back of my heels still bleed when I walk in them. So these are literally a, I will walk in you for a 30 minute total duration. It really sucks because I like them and they're great. However, this is too much pain. It's too much. I'm sorry. So that is these. Moving on to the next pair of shoes. Okay. So, the YSL Tribute Shoe is a classic shape. This one was like a limited edition version or whatever it was at the time, which had this sort of gold tire track at the bottom of it, which makes it look cool. Do you agree? It looks cool. It looks cool. We agree. However, the sodding sole of this, right, is the hardest thing. It is literally like walking on wood. There is no absorption for, your, for the ball of your foot as you're walking. You will feel every single movement, every crack in the pavement, every ant that you may stand on, you will sadly feel through these shoes. These are the epitome of suffering, right? They may not give you bleeding ankles like the last one, but you will, you will want to, you'll either want to cut off your own feet at the ankles or kill someone just to, just to take the pain away. Really? These are so sodding awful. Also now I would rethink this because the heel is so small and it looks kind of weird now, doesn't it? But anyway, so those, don't, don't get them. Mm -mm. The next thing is, okay. I was going to say in theory, it's a great idea, but in practice, in theory, it's not a great idea, and in practice, well, you're gonna find out. But basically, I went mental for this. I wanted it so badly. And this is the Fendi Carlito. So they come out with these like every season. Sometimes they're in like different little characters or whatever, right? And they're cute, they're very cute. They're very chic little bag charms, right? I mean, look at him. Look at little Carl, he's very cute. The only downside is, is that this hair used to be in a little ponytail at the back. Now look at it. He looks like a cockatoo. Um, I took it to Fendi to ask if they could redo his ponytail and they said that they've never had anybody ask that before. I wonder why. I wonder if anybody that buys these actually doesn't really use them that much. Because he was hanging out on the front of my bag, loving life. I took him everywhere. He was very cute. But now look at him. He looks like... He looks... He looks... He looks like he's turned to drugs is what he looks like. If we can just zoom in on the state of this poor fellow. Poor, poor Carlito, look at him. He looks like he's had one too many late nights. He, look, he looks a bit heroiny, doesn't he? Oh, poor guy. So yeah, I mean, he's very cute. He was overpriced, um, aren't most things, but it's just like, great, but I want to use him because I bought him, I want to use him, but look at the state of it. Look at him, he looks like a little hobo. Aww. So yeah, that's the downside of him. 
basically if you want to buy a Fendi bag charm get one that either doesn't have long hair and a ponytail or prepare for it to end up looking bedraggled hanging off your bag so yeah I'm a, I'm a bit sad about him so he's retired for a bit now I'll bring him out in a bit where when you know the time is right but at the moment so this is an MCM bag right it's a bag that you've probably never seen and for good reason because why it's got a robot on the front and I really don't understand um it's like it's like this you know oil slick metallic or whatever and it's got a long strap and yeah I'm probably gonna use it again but would I given the chance it's just a bit weird isn't it is it let me know in the comments below is this as awful as I think it is because I think it's kind of awful it's got many compartments practically I mean like practicality wise it's, it's a great little bag however in practice why this weird little robot? I'm not a sci-fi gal. I don't even know what's the difference between like Star Wars and Star Trek. I think one has pointy ears and one doesn't and one has like 12 films in the series and they're all in different orders but I don't know anything so why would this little robot? I don't, I don't, I don't understand really so that's why this bag has made it. My last item is actually like a cult classic. Everybody loves this bag there was a phase where everybody wanted this bag and so did I. I wanted this bag and I got the bag, right? However, I'll, I'll tell you. So this is the Celine Phantom, okay? As you can see, she's looking sad. My issue with this is, is that it's not the lightest bag without anything in it. So when you put everything in it, then it gets heavy. Then it doesn't have a long strap. So then you're carrying it all on this arm. Next thing you know, you've lost feeling in this side of your arm. You've got pins and needles and you want to die. It's not, it's just, you know what? It's a great, it is a great bag, it is a great bag. But also, this is the light grey, as you can see. And I wear a lot of jeans and this is the back of it. I've used wet wipes, some of the colour comes off, but it's basically not getting any better than that. So this is her, this is my Celine Phantom. She's great and everything, but you know, I mainly use her for traveling. She's great for traveling, throw everything in and go, and then you just deal with the fact that your arm is gonna drop off at any moment. You just, yeah, guys, those are the, at the moment that I can think of, my boyfriend can think of more because he dislikes a great number of my items, but those are thus far there may be a follow-up to this there may be another five items of designerness that i decided i don't like anymore so stay tuned but let me know let me know in your comments how you feel about those items do you dislike them as much as i do let me know like this video if you enjoyed it and you want me to do more trashing things I own and um, have an amazing morning, afternoon or evening. That was a hard finger to get up there, wasn't it? Wherever you are and I shall see you in my next video. Bye guys.